This video will show and explain the step-by-step -step installation of the Igniter 1181 into a Delco distributor. In the box you will find a module attached to an aluminum plate. You'll also find a magnet sleeve and the hardware kit. The tools you will need are a Phillips and blade screwdriver, a hammer, a set of feeler gauges, a small punch, terminal crimping tool, acetone or another cleaning fluid, and an emery cloth or piece of Scotch-Brite material. You'll want to inspect the distributor for excessive wear on the gear or any other obvious problems. Remove the cap using a blade screwdriver. Inspect the inside of the cap for wear or excessive carbon deposits. Remove the rotor by unscrewing the two small screws on top. Now you'll need to remove the points and condenser. Save the screws and washers from the points as you'll use them again in the installation of the module. Remove the points and condenser wire from the points assembly. Now it's time to pull the wire through the access hole in the bottom of the distributor housing. You can remove the grommet at this time as well. Inspect and clean the breaker plate. It is very important that this is clean as it will provide the ground for the igniter module. Acetone works great for this. If the plate is extremely dirty, you may need to use emery cloth or Scotch-Brite material. Now we're ready to install the magnet ring. Slip the sleeve over the advance mechanism. The studs will feed through the holes and stick above the advance. The rotor is placed on top of the advance with the studs protruding above the rotor. Place the thicker washers from the hardware kit over the studs. Screw the nuts from the hardware kit onto the studs. Tighten them sufficiently. Make sure the magnet sleeve is seated tightly against the advance mechanism. Now it's time to install the igniter module. The module is in the same position the points were in and is held in place with the two screws you saved from the points. The screws should only lightly be tightened at this time. It's now time to check the air gap between the magnet ring and module. You will need the air gap between 10 thousandths at its closest point and 60 thousandths at its highest point. If the ring rubs against the igniter module, carefully bend the module bracket using a set of pliers until there is a small gap between the two pieces. We do have a gap between the module and the magnet ring, so I'll now need to measure the gap at its largest point. Now if the gap is greater than 60 thousandths, you'll want to remove the gear and place a spacer between the gear and the housing. This is set at about 75 thousandths, so we'll need to install a shim. To remove the gear, place a small punch on the pin and hammer it out. Be careful, you'll need to reuse this pin. Place one of the large washers provided in the hardware kit over the shaft and push it up the housing. Place the gear back onto the shaft and replace the pin. Now recheck the air gap. We're looking for a gap at its smallest dimension to be at 10 thousandths and at its largest dimension, 60 thousandths. It looks like we're good here. Now feed both the red and black wire down through the hole in the bottom of the distributor. Make sure the wires do not interfere with the vacuum advance. Place these wires through the new grommet provided in the hardware kit and then replace the grommet in the bottom of the distributor. Now retighten the two screws securing the module and the two nuts securing the rotor. Place the cat back on the distributor and you're done. 